Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> Good Saturday morning, everybody. We just got off the trail. We did a total of 10.35 miles. Let's see, we did 9,600 steps, which was about three and a half miles, somewhere around there. And then we did about seven miles on our bike. So yay, good workout. So guys, I have been away for a while. I am so sorry. I have a video that will be coming up with probably a partial um, meal prep. Guys, I had a family member become ill. So anyway, it is Saturday morning, guys. I'm going to try to get back onto a schedule of getting videos out. And here we go for today. This is our breakfast. It might be an OMAD. It might be a splurge day. I don't know. So keep in mind that today's will be a skillet, quiche, casserole, whatever you want to call it. And if you are following the carnivore or very low carb, just omit the veggies and it, you're good to go. Otherwise, if you have room for your veggies within your macros, feel free to add any or all of the veggies that I'm adding. All right, so guys, you saw in my meal prep that I had some pork neck bones. I cooked those in my pressure cooker last night and this is what it yielded meat-wise. And this meat kind of reminds me of a turkey neck meat. It really does, uh, with the hint of bacon. I have a poblano pepper that I roasted. I have a jalapeno pepper that I roasted. So you'll see in my meal prep that I cooked some of my summer sausage that I had in my freezer. I defrosted it, cooked these on my George Foreman grill. and So I cut up two pieces, that's what it is. I'm gonna keep this for tomorrow's breakfast. I have some onions that need to get, up, get used. I purchased a little bit of pico de gallo. I have my avocado still in here. I'll be making these today for tomorrow's breakfast. And then I just kind of gathered things that either need to be used up and or would just make for a good breakfast. So I'm gonna try and use some of my spinach. I'm gonna use some of this pepper jack. Go ahead and get my peppers chopped up. I got some more peppers in here, the uh, little mini red peppers, and get those on the stove top sauteing a little bit in some bacon drippings, and we'll see you at the stove. All right, guys, here we are at the stove. We have our sausage, our pork neck, and onions. We have about a tablespoon of bacon drippings and about three tablespoons of butter. What we're gonna do is go ahead and add in our spinach. Let's go ahead and get it weighed out. All right, well, so we're putting the entire bag on the scale. It reads 4.9. We'll dump it out, then we'll measure the plastic container and then figure out how many ounces of spinach we've got. Minus 0.2, 4.7 ounces of spinach. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cook this and let the spinach cook down. All right guys, so the spinach is cooked down nicely. Let's go ahead and add in our eggs. I have 12 eggs. Let this cook up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and add in one and a half ounces of pork rinds. Whatever kind you guys have is great. All right, I'm telling you guys, you're, you're laughing. You're saying Alma and her pork rinds. Guys, it adds fat content to your meals and flavor and chewiness and oh, I can't even explain it. Just try it once, guys. Try it once, all right? All right, guys, it is setting up nicely. Let's go ahead and add in our cheese. I measured this out at 6.3 ounces of pepper jack cheese. Again, if you have Mexican cheese, whatever you have on hand, let's go ahead and use what you've got. All right, so my bag weighed right at three out at 0.3 ounces, so it's six ounces of cheese that we've added. And all right, guys, so at the end of the video, I will have all the macros. And if you'll scroll down to the very bottom of the description, I'll have all the ingredients. Actually, we're gonna add in our peppers. This is at one and a half ounces of jalapeno, of the red peppers, and of the poblano. Guys, isn't it looking good? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add salt and pepper to taste. Let me show you what I found, guys. I found this neat smoked chili sea salt over at Big Lots. Let's season to taste. It's got like paprika, it's got cumin, it's got uh, salt, it's got pepper, garlic, a whole bunch of great ingredients. All right guys, isn't that looking yummy? All right guys, this is pretty much done. Look at that. Ooh, eggy cheesy goodness. Sign me up. 
And why am I using this to cook with? I don't know, guys. I just, there's certain utensils that I love to cook with, and this is one of them. I don't know. Weird. I know. Hey guys, here is the finished meal. David's about to do a taste test on it. I topped this with some uh, Mexican cream. This is crema, and it is delicious. It has a much milder taste than sour cream. So if you're not a fan of sour cream, try this out, guys. It's got some really decent macros in it. Uh, so we've got this for David to test, and I have a side dish of some avocados and pico de gallo. All right, let's get David in. Hey, honey. Hey, baby. I got food for you. And I am ready to eat it. Yeah. So what was your scale this morning, hun? 183.1. So you're pretty much at goal. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. All right, so there you go, honey. This has the pork neck. Pork neck. Pork neck. Mmm. Really good. Is this like a side dish? <laughs> That's just in case you want to have Hawkins? some. Yeah. Guacamole. Mmm. That really dressed it up nicely. Yeah. Really good stuff, babe. Thank you, honey. I like it a lot. I figured you would. So did you Oh, guess what happened? What? Matthew walked in from work. Yeah. And he goes, something smells good. Mm. And he looked at it and he goes, can I have some? And he ate it. <laughs> but Matthew sometimes is kind of picky. And so last night when he got home, he ate the gizzards that I made last night, the fried gizzards. Uh, if Guys, if you haven't checked out my gizzard recipe, check in the upper right-hand corner. Oh my gosh, so Great darn gizzards. good. Great gizzards. And because I cook them in the um, instant pot first, they're so soft, right? They're not the chewy. All right, so Hulk, quit eating. Give us a review. Well, this bite that I'm about to take is about a 10. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's from one to five. Everything, no, everything is is really great. So you um, would probably give the dish a four, and with the toppings a five. No, the the, the dish before is a, a a solid five. Oh, okay. The the toppings are just bonus toppings for a five. Yeah. Gotcha. So five, five, and a half. five yeah. plus. All right, all right, guys. We'll see you soon. Have a blessed day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Like <laughs> teeth.